So today we are going to talk about digital photos, uh, primarily focusing on taking photos, managing photos on your smartphone. So just a brief history when it comes to digital photography. This is the very first digital camera. It was actually invented by Kodak and this engineer, Steve Sasson in 1975. So I, I find it kind of interesting that the, the, the company that invented kind of everyday photography for, for most people and film and all that also invented the digital camera. And in many ways, the digital camera was Kodak's downfall in many ways. But in 1975, this is what the first digital camera looked like. It weighed eight pounds. It had a cassette tape attached to it where the photo, the digital photo files were, were um, the digital photo files were stored. And it took 23 seconds to process a single photograph. Today, that same device is much less heavy, allows us to take many more photos, and gives us a great range of uh, photographs from personal digital uh, cameras to our smartphones. And today, cameras come in all shapes and sizes. You can get cameras on your, what are called, is called a GoPro camera that can attach to a helmet or a bicycle. We've got cameras that um, are embedded into glasses, pens, and so on. So that same technology has been shrunk down and I think one of the huge, huge advantages of digital photography is the number of photos that you can take. So back in the day of film, um, your maximum exp number of exposures was, was 36 photos. And if you went to a birthday party and you took a roll of film, you hoped that when you got those developed that you got at least one or two really good photos. So you were limited to how many photos you can take. Fast forward today, and photos can be stored on what's called an SD card if you have a digital camera. And a 16 gigabyte SD card can hold up to over 10,000 photos. The higher the number gigabytes, the more photos you can store. And the beauty of the SD card is the size. Very, very small. So this this whole concept of being able to store 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 photos on a small chip, either inside your camera or on an SD card, completely blows my mind. And I don't know how they do it, and we're not going to get into that. So today, you pretty much have kind of three ways to use digital cameras. You've got your digital SLR cameras, which are kind of the high-end uh, cameras that are all digital now, that you can change the lenses out, um, and you can really customize and take super, super high-quality photos with a DSLR camera. You've got your inexpensive automatic cameras, which again are even harder and harder to find in the store because everyone pretty much is using smartphones to take photographs and share and so on. When it comes to smartphones, there are basically two choices out there. You either are running an Android platform or you're running an Apple iOS platform. So an Android phone comes in hundreds of different brands. So you might have a Samsung, you might have a Sony, you might have an LG, you might have an Acer. You might have a Toshiba. You might have on and on and on and on and on and on. So there are, I believe, 1,200 different manufacturers of Android phones. There is only one manufacturer of the iOS Apple phone, and that is Apple. So with this type of smartphone, you've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of choices. With the Apple smartphone, you have eight choices. And that's what we're going to focus on today. 
So the examples that I'm going to show you today are going to be through my iPhone. 